Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to go through a few images, uh, some of my favourite images I've taken. Um, they're kind of debunk the myth that you can't get a good image um, with a basic camera and lens setup. So the image I'm going to be showing you with the Nikon D3200, which the camera is obviously several years old. Um, it's got a pretty poor native ISO range, uh, but in all in all you can get good images with a good camera using the right techniques. Um, so obviously I've used magazines over my time as my education. Um, I don't, I've don't. i never been to a photography class, I've been to the odd seminar, uh, which are thrown on by stuff like uh, Digital Splash um, and Wilkinson's cameras and things like that. Um, but I tend to use these type of magazines, so I've got like Practical Photography, uh, Digital Camera. Uh, those seem to be my go-to two magazines, which I've learned from. Um, but I'm going to show you four or five of my favourite images, uh, one of which you can see just over my shoulder here, um, which I always print uh, to be able to see what I've done with the image, um, to see it in larger format. Um, I only have an A4 size printer, uh, but I will be aiming to get an A3 plus printer at some point soon. Um, yeah, so I'm going to talk you through these images now, they'll be coming up on the screen one by one. Um, so please enjoy the images, please give me some feedback, uh, give it a like, a comment, a subscribe, a share, any feedback is welcome, um, and hope you enjoy, here we go. First up, uh, it's an Anthony Gormley's Another Place up in Crosby, Merseyside, which obviously in the UK on the northwest coast, lovely location to go shoot, um, you get some amazing sunsets up there, this was taken on a November evening, uh, using a budget tripod, say, 20 to 25 pounds, um, a remote shutter release that I got off eBay for a further 5 to 10 pounds, really, really budget equipment. Um, obviously using the kit lens, it's the first time I was really happy with the results I got uh, on a landscape shot. Um, I just love this image. Um, yeah, so that's that one. Next up, uh, we've got a fireworks display uh, on November the 5th, bonfire night. Uh, this is taken at Sefton Park in Liverpool Merseyside a few years ago now. And they've stopped doing these displays and moved them primarily down to the docks. Um, but I used to love these displays. You could turn up with your tripod, hundreds of people, thousands of people there. And this was me experimenting for the second time doing fireworks photos. Um, so you obviously switch it to manual, you put it on a tripod, yet again using the budget shutter release and tripod. Um, I was experimenting with shutter lengths, manual focus, dialed it all the way to infinity. Uh, but with Nikon lenses, I realized you had to dial it back a touch just to get the sharpness. So I did that and this was the result. So this was taken up at Ben Nevis in Scotland. This is on the mountain path or the pony trail. Um, they've renamed it a few times. Um, it's a beautiful walk. Um, obviously it is a mountain so wear appropriate clothing if you do it. Um, I got really lucky with the weather. Um, they say one in every ten days you get the good weather when tra trekking up it. Um, it's a beautiful climb. Um, it's just as you can see, the sun was rising. This is about 7 a.m. in the morning. It just cleared one of the mountains and it started to fill in the the wonderful, wonderful scenery in the background. I just loved it. I had to take a high ISO of 800 just to get the aperture I wanted to get the detail into the shot. So on to image number four, the one that I obviously said was on my wall. This is one of my favourite shots I've ever taken. Um, it's taken a bit of luck, to be fair, to get this shot. Um, the light trails you can see uh, from obviously passing cars, it was taken at twilight in the evening. Um, this was only a few, several months back actually, um, of the wonderful Life of Bird building. And this is taken from Water Street. Um, as you can see, the light trails caused by a bus going past the last part of the exposure um, has really brought some higher lines. It looks just fantastic. I'm very, very happy with it. Yet again, on a budget tripod, budget shutter release basic kit lens, basic camera. It can be done. It's fantastic. Finally, on to image number five. This is the Albert Dock in Liverpool. Uh, as you can tell, I live in Liverpool, hence the reason a lot of my shots are from around here. This is actually three shots um, taken on a tripod. I sort of span it to overlap a third of each image to be able to stitch it using the automation feature in Adobe Photoshop. Um, this was taken, well, as you can tell, in the evening. Um, I I'd been around taking long exposure shots all day. No filters used, uh, using the obviously my trusty camera, trusty kit lens, uh, on a trusty cheap tripod. <laughs> um, this was just beautiful. Um, it was very, very calm. The reflections that I got out of it were better than I could ever have hoped for. So it's 
proved brilliant symmetry. Um, it did take a bit of work in Photoshop to realign the first image to line up with the second and third, just because of the way that the lens, I suppose, works, lens distortion. Um, but I was very happy with this. Three long exposures stitched together in Photoshop. It just creates a magnificent shot. Um, any thoughts that you have on these images, please leave below. Um, I'm just delighted with the outcomes I've managed to get from them. Um, I do have to say as a disclaimer, I have part exchanged my kit lens now. Um, I've moved on to a Sigma 10 to 20 millimeter um, for about 300 pounds. Obviously upgrading the glass is gonna help me get better images uh, for what I'm trying to shoot. Um, I'm not dissing the kit lens in any way. It's just that after time you do wanna upgrade your kit. Um, there's nothing wrong with upgrading your kit, but I believe that these five images show that you can deliver results that you can be happy with um, and that people on Instagram will like. So why not go ahead, try it yourselves. It's trial and error. That's how you get these images. Trial and error using the right settings, um, which you can learn from other YouTube videos. You can learn it from magazines. You can learn it anywhere. But I think this shows that you can actually achieve some results. Um, Thank you for watching. Please leave a like, a comment, a subscribe, even share it. Um, any feedback is brilliant. Um, in my description below, you'll find my Instagram and Facebook links. Um, please give them a visit. I've got obviously plenty more images. Um, if you want any advice, I'd be happy to try and give you some. Um, if you've got anything you want to say about these videos, please do. Um, until next time, guys, thanks for watching.